Jersey Sports Zone's coverage of Robbinsville and Hopewell Valley is brought to you by Princeton Orthopedic Associates. One more stop before the Mercer County Tournament Final. Fourth seed 12 9 and 1 Hopewell Valley taking on top seed 12 6 and 2 Robbinsville. Ravens have won the last nine meetings. No scoring in the first, but some great goalie work from Robbinsville's Xander Wiley and Hopewell's Blake Echternacht. Star of the second, Colin Rubin finds Zach Duggan, and Robbinsville draws first blood a minute in to go ahead 1 0. Later in the period, Matthew Greenspoon shot denied, but Dylan Yasher makes good on the second chance effort, and Hopewell ties the game at 1-1 as 4:26 remains. Yasher giving a shout out afterwards. Soon after, Matthew Greenspoon finds Logan Camilleri, and the Bulldogs, in the span of two minutes, take a 2-1 lead to close out the second. Following the ice cut, Robbinsville with a costly mistake. Raymond Corneau accidentally sends this puck into his own net two minutes into the third. Credit Bob Ruger with the goal. It's 3-1 Hopewell to begin. And these two had no shortage of fire between each other as things getting chippy down the stretch. Late in the period, Zach Duggan with a good look, but Blake Echternack shuts that down. He finished with 27 saves. 3-1 your final, fourth seed Hopewell Valley, you're headed to the Mercer County Tournament Final. The Bulldogs now 13-9-1 upset top seed Robbinsville. It's the first time since 2018 they take down the Ravens. Logan Camilleri, Dylan Yasher, and Bob Ruger, your goal scorers. Yasher and Gavin No had assists. Matthew Greenspoon had two assists. Hopewell will take on the winner of sixth seed Paul VI and second seed Princeton in the championship. For Jersey Sports Zone, I'm Neri Rodriguez.